Hi, my friends. This is Tanya Sidekid Crafts. Welcome. Welcome back to my channel. So glad you have chosen to stop by today. It is Watercolor Wednesday, and I missed last Wednesday. So I apologize for that. I, uh, yeah, I don't even know what to say. I missed it. I feel bad. It's my own, uh, my own open collaboration night, and I missed it. <laughs> So uh, thanks for hanging in there with me. Thanks to all who participated. I apologize. I didn't get around to everybody's videos last week, but I'm back and um, doing it again today. So what we're going to do today is I have got, I want to make a couple of cards and I want to talk about watercolor and stamping. So it's, a, I've seen a lot of you doing it and I think it's beautiful when it comes out when they're done. Um, you can get out your stamps. If you don't know what to color or paint or what have you get out your stamps and make sure that you use an archival ink or something that does that um, is waterproof and you're gonna have a good time if you use something else it might not be such a good time or you might get something really creative who knows so I got out some stamps and I thought I could play with something like these you know they'd be fun to um, to color even something that's detailed like this would be fun to color we're gonna use this one today as well as this one I've already got a couple stamped out I thought let's just play and make some cards. So let's do that. <clears throat> so I've got out my favorite paints. These are my Muno paints. I absolutely love them. I highly recommend them. And as you can see, they're loved. <laughs> I really do love them. They've got so many, so many beautiful colors. I've got this hot glue gun that I'm still trying to work around here that I realized I left on again last night. And you know what? I don't have paper towels in here again. But well, it's okay. We'll make it work. All right. Got out my brushes. These are my uh, Christy Rice brushes. Except for this one. This one is a, um, this one's Princeton. And we're just going to play. We're just going to have some fun. Get out our watercolors. We're practicing playing. Got some iced tea here. So, oh, here we go. Let's do this one first. This one I was just thinking, um, because this is more of a warm up. I don't have to concentrate too much on this one. I thought it would be fun to just kind of do some, actually just kind of wet the flowers and kind of just dab some color in there. We're going to go lightly in um, the areas. I was thinking this would be a very pretty background to use. So I'm just going to dab some color in here and the flowers. Maybe for Mother's Day would be pretty. Whose mom doesn't love getting flowers for Mother's Day? Every mom loves it. Trust me. I'm just going to dab a little color. We're going to go back and make them brighter. For now, we'll just get some some water on there, a little pink on there, just to kind of show us where they're at. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm thinking um, it's okay if the colors go over. It'd be fun also to do just some blobs of color, pink and greens and different things on the paper and then stamp it and let the, let the stamp fall where it does. And that'd be kind of cool too. I was thinking about doing that, but um, my stamp wasn't working that great. I had to stamp this about eight times to get it to work. And I don't know if it's my ink pad, if it's the, I think it's the stamp. I don't know. I'd never really had problems with it before, but I used it differently. And I wanted to make sure that I used the, um, stamping pad because if I needed to re-stamp it, I would, uh, it would be in the same place and I wouldn't have it messed up. So... I think that's kind of, you know, where I'd used my hand before. So I think that might be part of why it was doing that. I'm just kind of dabbing it in. There's no rules what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, you know, as far as coloring flowers, I, I don't know what the rules are, if there's any. I'm just kind of dabbing some color in there. I don't want it all to be a solid flat color. So I'm just getting some pink. And I'm actually using the, the paint that's here on my tray that I've mixed before. I like using that up. It's kind of like using my scraps, you know. Don't let it go to waste. I 
I'll just make keep making these intent more a little more intense as we go. Just layer those colors. I hope you're all doing great. I'm having a, a super week. What day is today? To, oh, obviously Wednesday because we're doing watercolor Wednesday, aren't we? Obviously. Just kind of brushing this in here again, just not really worried about the lines. The stamp isn't going to smear because I used waterproof ink. So I don't have to worry about that. Just getting some color in. This is gonna be a background also, so I'm not too worried about perfection because this won't be the final focal point. Just wanting to add color. in there. Look how pretty that is already. It's just so imperfect. It's I love it. I'm gonna add a little touch of brown onto that. To that green. Let's get some different colors. There's a little blue that can add in there. That'll add some extra color. Clean some of that green up. Look at just perfect. darker than I intended. I can just add some water in there, pick some of that up and spread it. Just using a loose hand, not trying too hard. And that color in. Hoping it'll give it kind of a shabby chic feel. Just a relaxed. colors just relaxed and chilling and purposely kind of go in some of these backgrounds with some of this paint just to so it's not totally white it's as easy as that I mean that gets pretty easy right I'll just kind of fill in some of those little white spots I don't know if you can tell, but there's just a dab of pink on my on my brush. Just a little bit that's in that water. Giving it just a little bit of a color. Just a touch. There we go. That's very pretty, right? Should I put a little bit more intense color somewhere? Actually, I kind of want to put, there's a couple spots in here that need um, kind of a center. Thinking about doing something maybe like that. That's not the right part, but maybe just kind of a dab of some yellow in between. Even to the petals works because it's just a, it's the wrong spot again. And then just a touch of something else. I 
keep hitting that spot. I need to go back to the green on that. Um, I feel like there's still some spots that needed that pink too that I kind of missed. darker There we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stop before I mess it up. I really like that. Um, that's going to be a really pretty background. So we're just going to hang on to that. That's weird. My stamp went off the edge. I didn't even realize that. But that's okay. Now, this one is going to be a little more detail. And for this one, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. We're going to do a wash on the background. Going right up to the design. Right up to it. Luckily, this one has simple lines on it. It'll be easy to get right up to it, hopefully. I say that until I start actually painting. And then I'll be like, oh no, what did I do? <laughs> hopefully not. But that first one gave me kind of a warm up, didn't it? All right, so I'm gonna use Got this color here. This is like an indigo, I think. Kind of mixed. And I just want to lightly, lightly color this. You know, just lightly. You can add more color. Just a hint of that blue. Touch of purple to it, kind of a gray. It's kind of mixing on my palette, which is nice. It's got some different colors in there. Just a touch of that. I'm gonna bring just a little bit more. I'm gonna kind of mix two colors in there. too and that's okay too. Just want to drop some in. Now one of the really cool things about watercolor is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to get a little darker here. Oh I can't do it because I don't have any tissue. What? I can still do it. I think I can. I think I have some tissue paper, even if it's not. It's something in this, maybe. How many paper towels? But it might work into this. Yeah, see? You can actually dab. I don't know if you can see it but it's lifting up some of the color and kind of making a dapply text. 
textured look. I'm just kind of doing that all over. I like it. There we go. So it's not all flat. Okay. That's what I wanted there. Now what color should her umbrella be? Let's see, what color should her high heels be? It's a smaller brush. I think her umbrella and her high heels should match. I'm feeling like her umbrella I really want to give her red heels or let's just do pink. We'll do a crimson. Why crimson? I don't know. It's a happy color. And would she be wearing, oh, this should be a raincoat, right? Well, it doesn't have to be, though. We could do her belt in this color. Why is that not working? Should we just do her umbrella the same? Or we could do, I have an idea. Let's do, let's give her a pink dress. We can do her skirt in a pink. And then we could do her umbrella in the different shades, right? We're going to use a bigger brush for that, though. We'll use this one. And then we could go a lighter, a lighter shade, maybe. Tap that back up. is probably the wrong brush too, isn't it? That's what I'm thinking. This is the wrong brush. I'll just use this one. Go a little lighter with this one if we can. Then this is gonna be crimson. No. This one's going to be crimson. This one's going to be this color, a little darker. There we go. And then this one will be lighter again. As will this one. I'm 
go too dark too dark all right and then let's do i'm going to try to lighten up her dress just a little in spots or darken it in spots i don't know what i'm doing all right let's use crimson on those and i'm going to use a lighter version of the crimson That's my intention anyway. This one. Cute. There we go. We got a little pink, pink little gal there. Now my light paint is kind of encroaching over here. Now her legs do not need to be shockingly white as the uh, watercolor paper would have you think. So let's just add just a tiny touch of this brown and just give her a little, just a little color there. And she's going to need a little blue puddle. And I barely touched that red and it kind of um, seeped into the blue right there. I'm going to do that. So it kind of spreads that color just a little bit. Because it's kind of cool. It looks like, a, you know, a reflection in the water. And let's see, what else does she need? Anything else? I think I want a little bit more of that blue. Just a little darker. And then we'll do, take this and add a little, too dark. Probably didn't need to color those, but I did. So there. Maybe scrub them out just a little. Just kind of dab that in there. There we go. We've got another good little picture that we can use for a card. So, hope you guys like those. Um, I'm going to probably create the cards and then use them as the photo thumbnail color cover for the for this video. But in the meantime, that is just a couple of ideas I had for cards and I thought why not get on here and play and share with you? I'm going to create the cards and I will uh, 
show you what I've got when I'm done. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Get out your watercolors. Just want to encourage you to play. Give it a go and see what you can do. You know, it um, shouldn't be a daunting art supply at all. It should be one that we can just kind of relax and have fun with. Never a, a stress. I hope you all have a fantastic day. We'll see you soon. Thanks for, for stopping by and spending time with me this morning. Have a great one. Bye-bye.